There is no fucking mindset in this football club. Nothing is there. What the hell is there in this football club? Tell me now. What the hell is there? Last 16 years, this much defeat I've never seen. Six fucking nil. You for sack a defensive coach for not getting the results. And now you appoint an attack-minded coach without giving him world-class players and you expect him results. What do you appoint attack-minded coach for? What do you appoint? To get battered and embarrassed 6 nil at Etihad. Like this batting, for this batting you appoint. An attack-minded coach. Sari ball, it's in Sari ball. You won't give any players, you won't give money, nothing you'll give. You loan out players and you expect them to play Sari ball. Loud ball, shut ball that one. Shut up ball that was. Shut up ball. And this type of performance is simply not accepted. And the players have to just resign, resign. And resign all the wages, sack all their wages, that's it. For one week, not for one week, for one month. For one month that should be sacked. Marcos Alonso, this is the seventh time, this is the fucking seventh time I'm calling out your name. You are just an absolute shambolic defender, shambolic rubbish defender. You don't deserve to play for Chelsea Football Club. You don't deserve to wear the badge. Get out of my club. Get out. Get out. The club is paying you grands and grands of money, grands and grands of pounds, grands and grands of euros. Not for you to sleep, not for you to fucking sleep, for you to fucking defend, for you to fucking defend and have contact with the opposition, not to daydream sleep and behave like Pablo Escobar with a weed. Get out of our club. And people call me a disgraceful fan. For what? For showing passion? For showing, for caring for the club? Where are the players? Where are the players? All will turn off their phones. All will turn off their phones to switch off mode and airplane mode. They'll not even come out. They'll not even speak. Nothing they'll do. And we fans have to watch every single season batting, batting, shambolic performance and keep supporting. Because I love this club. Chelsea Football Club. This is the first and the last time. Three points we are supposed to get from this match. Three points. We are supposed to get three points from this match. And we don't even get one point also. One point also we don't get. One point also we don't get. VR is given, penalty is given, chance is given, everything is given and we don't capitalize it. Take, take the gift, don't open it, return it back. You guys tell me, will it not frustrate a fan? Will it not frustrate a fan? Jorginho and Kovacic, supplies after supplies after supplies after supplies he's giving to William. He missed two chances. Okay, I will tolerate that. Nil, nil. Okay, next half you go. You score, keep going, keep going, keep going. And formation also, three at the back was perfect. Perfect today. We should have won the match. Draw also. Draw also, we had a chance. I could have taken that draw also. That draw chance also missed. Spanish lollipop we have given. Spanish lollipop. And penalty. Penalty. How can Barkley take the penalty when Jorginho is there on the pitch? Who is our penalty taker? Who is our ma main penalty taker? Last season it was Hazard, plan was there, he will always take the penalty. Can situation used to save us. This season, someone is coming, someone is going, someone is coming, someone is going. Who is taking, who is going, we are not knowing anything. No, these things will not work. These things will not work. This is a small side mentality. This is a bloody small side mentality. Big club man, big club, Champions League competition. Penalty takers should be fixed. One or two. Jorginho, William, who is the penalty taker? Two fellows should be fixed. Someone will come, someone will go, will take penalty. Not penalty. He's taking crossbar challenges, putting. Really, it's disappointing and frustrating. Each point will matter. Each point is mattering in the Champions League competition. Such a dense competition it is there. Such a tough competition, competitive league this is. Nonsense of today's match was playing Batshuayi in the starting level. That guy couldn't even pass the ball properly, couldn't even hold on to the ball properly, couldn't even shoot properly, couldn't even finish the chances properly, couldn't miss all chances after chances after chances after chances and then after missing, he's thinking of kissing over there. His contribution, his contribution in today's match was minus zero, that's it. Minus zero. Nothing he has done in today's match. Nothing he has done. And if a player who is playing for the badge is doing nothing on the pitch, then that fellow is not fit to play in the Premier League. Huh? Couldn't even do anything. Didn't even show a single attribute properly. 
Giroud, after coming on for first five minutes, showed more attributes, showed more skills, and showed more performance, better performance than Batshuayi did for 60 odd minutes. 60 odd minutes. 60 minutes of waste of time and waste of energy, waste of time and waste of hope also. How many chances? How many chances? A Premier League striker is missing five to six chances in a single game. Then that guy is not fit for the Premier League and he's unfit to play for any Premier League club. Five to six chances in a match. Huh? Goodness gracious. Huh? Like on lollipop, opposition will give the chances and you just throw the lollipop away. Horrible performance by Batshuayi. Horrible performance by Batshuayi. And such type of performance by a player lets the managers down, let the clubs down. And allows languishing teams who are languishing at the 7th position come back in the race of Champions League. And that's what happened today. Second nonsense was VAR. VAR. Video assistant rascals. That's it. Video assistant rascals. Maguire raised his boots clearly. Maguire raised his boots clearly. And that was a straight red card booking, straight red card booking. The referee didn't spot it, the referee was blind and the video assistant rascals were like, I'm so innocent, I'm so innocent, I can't claim myself to be a United fan. I can't claim myself to be. So let it be, let it be. Is this how you treat your fans? 4-0 it seems, 4-0. This is how they treat their fans. Who has not eaten anything and gone to the showroom and bought this jersey for this season. This is how they treat. What an embarrassing performance! Embarrassing! Humiliation! This is humiliation! 4 nil it seems, da! 4 nil! It, it seems like Thanos has come back alive to Old Trafford, snapped his fingers and our defense went invisible. The defense went invisible, third class defending. There is no organization, there is no defensive structure, there is no interception, nothing is there in that defense. Third class, fourth class defense. Is that the way you defend? Is that a top football club who wants to finish in top four? Is that the way how they defend? Is that the way to defend? Shocking, shocking defense, man. Shocking defense. In second half, in second half, the way they considered the goals, they considered goals faster than how Johnny Sins humps his girlfriends in porn films. All the defenders' wages, all the defenders' wages should be cut. Should be fucking cut after that embarrassing performance. After that embarrassing performance. Fresh season, fresh start, fresh vibes. Positive vibes, everything disappeared down the garbage after that embarrassing performance. All the wages has to be sacked. That's it. Cut the wages. Then only these people will understand. Humiliating the fans. Season after season after season after season. Sloppiness after sloppiness after sloppiness after sloppiness. Last season, Hazard was there. That's why we finished top four. Him gone, everything gone. And plus they have put a transfer ban also. Fuck this transfer ban, fuck this transfer ban man. And today lineup also was shocking. Lineup also was shocking. Why Captain America didn't play? Why Captain America who had a good preseason didn't play, didn't start? Then Engolo Kante, he came out, we missed him dearly. He should have started today. He should have played today. I don't know what fitness or what is going on. But even a 30% fitness of Engolo Kante would have made a difference. Would have not lost 4 nil. Even a 30% fit Engolo Kante. Against a 19 position Everton squad over there. Huh? Clueless Everton team. They are clueless. They sacked their manager over there. That fellow was clueless. Hopeless he was. Huh? Couldn't even handle the players. Players also was clueless. They lost all their way, hopes, everything. Relegation squad they are in. And they bought in some Duncan Ferguson. Our defense, our players made him look like one Sir Alex Ferguson over there. Duncan Ferguson, no. Alex Ferguson it seems. We made him look like that. Come on man, come on. Today's performance and past week's performance, okay, it's just showing that our team honeymoon period is over. Honeymoon period for manager Frank Lampard is over. Enough of honeymoon. It happens only once. Okay, that run will happen. After that, it will disappear off. Every day you cannot expect honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. Okay, you have to do the job. Nonsense rubbish. Transfer ban is lifted. Transfer ban is lifted. Clear vision should be given to this club and they should buy some players, especially from the defense. Awful defense, man. Awful defense. This defense, they cannot expect to finish top four with this defense. Fix the defense first. Fix the defense, buy a left back, buy a center back. World class defenders are required, at least who can do the job, who can do the basic defending. Because this defense cannot defend. It's spineless, gutless, third class performance. And that do at home. That, that do at home against 17 position West Ham United. West Ham United. 
I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Other teams are dropping points, giving opportunity for us, giving pizza, pasta, burger, everything for us to climb up the table. But we are just throwing away the opportunities, throwing away good food. Rubbish performance, absolutely disappointing, very disappointing. How much more, how much more the youngsters can carry forward? How much more? If other players on the bench cannot take up the responsibilities and uh, pull up the team. Full of experienced players they are called. Full of experienced players they are called. Senior players they are called. What joy? For what joy they are senior players? For what reason they are senior players and experienced player? What experience? What lot of experience? If they cannot pull a team, if they cannot beat West Ham United and that do at home with full crowd support, fan support, home support, every support they have. Still they cannot pull the team means how the hell they can be called experienced players? Huh? Full of all substandard players. All the bench. All the bench, the squad depth is full of substandard, full substandard players. And these type of substandard players, if they cannot perform when responsibility is given to them, they can just get out. That's it. Just get out. Our striker, Giroud, huh? he looked like one lamppost yesterday. No work rate, no striking rate, no ball positioning, no nothing. No header, no nothing. Everything miss, miss, miss. And he was as good as a lamppost yesterday. As good as a lamppost. It's very fortunate that Tammy Abraham youngster is there who was leading our attack and stepped up at the right time. If this lamppost had to strike our team, if he was leading the attack of our team, then God save Chelsea, that's it. These type of substandard players are just not required at the club. And one point against 10 men Arsenal it seems. This club is an absolute joke. Absolute joke. Complete joke. Complete nonsense this is. Complete nonsense. I just can't believe it. We are saying that this is a young team it seems. We have to back Lampard. We have to back this team. Okay. Yes it was young team at the beginning of the season when we had a transfer ban. Now the transfer ban is lifted. Everything is lifted. We have options to sign players. Nothing they are doing. The club is not doing anything. I have been quiet all week. I have been quiet all month. I have not said anything. I have not said anything. Now it's time to say, spend some money. Spend some money. Spend some money. This is the money you have spent it. Spend the money. Spend the bloody money. Sign some plus. The score is not good enough. Not good enough. If you are not spending any money, if you are not taking any action, then we will not finish top four. If we finish top four, then it is by other team failure, not by our achievement. Stop being in hibernation mode. Stop being in hibernation mode and wake the fuck up. We this Chelsea football club, not some Chelsea beggars club. We can't even be Newcastle. We can't even be Tenman Arsenal. Bayern Munich is coming up. And if the same players are playing who are absolutely tired, they have given their best for the first six months. Now transfer ban is lifted. They are not even signing any players. They are not signing any players. Worst transfer window in the history of the universe of the Chelsea football club. This has been the worst transfer window. I am fed up. I am fed up. 31 days. 31 days. And they couldn't sign a single player. Not even a single player. They couldn't sign. The board. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Couldn't even sign a single player. Couldn't even sign a single player. The board behaved like beggars. 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 They failed to back Lampard. Cavani failed. Piatek failed. Warner failed. Jovic failed. Zaha failed. Chilwell failed. Dunk failed. Everybody failed. Everybody failed. The only thing the board has succeeded is taking the fans' money and building brothels out of the stadium. Building brothels, they have succeeded. That's it. That's it. They didn't sign any players because they have to build brothels out of the stadium. That's why. Mindless, shameless, gutless, washboard. 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 In 2017-18 also, they didn't sign Conte. They didn't back Conte after he has won the title. They didn't back Conte at all. Okay, gave average average players. Didn't give the players they want. Okay. Then they hired Sari. They hired Sari. He knew that the board will not back him. So he just left. Sai he left. That's it. It's better to leave than stay at this football club. Then, then he hired Lampard. Club legend Lampard. Thinking that whatever nonsense this board will do, whatever nonsense, whatever rubbish they will do, Lampard will sit and tolerate and behave like a puppet. No, he's not puppet. He's not puppet. 